everyone. So first of all, I am going to be making a sort of Alice in Wonderland sort of card today. Okay, I want to apologise for my lack of videos in June. Has a lot of personal stuff going on, but I am back now. So what I'm going to do is post a video today and then it'll be back to business as usual. So I'll post on the 13th again and on the 29th. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me just zoom in a wee touch. I am going to be making um, an Alice in Wonderland card. Okay, let me show you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use the beautiful Signs of Love. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll give you a quick. Now on the back, as always, you get the beautiful decoration. Look at that. I am going to be using a couple of the butterflies. And then it's all like tone on tone. So you get, look at that one. So you get the check. And you get the gorgeous, so you get four of each, the beautiful burnt orange. And then you get like the light sort of pinky red with the checks on the back. This beautiful, it looks like a, a vintage tile to me. And then you get the polka dots. Again, like the vintage tile look. And the gorgeous peachy colour. And then you get the blue, and that one's my favourite. That's stunning. I'm going to be using that as well. So, I'm going to use that, and I'm also going to use a couple of bits and pieces from the Spring Blossoms add-on kit, okay? So you get tons. I have used some of the bits in here, but you get lots and lots of bits and pieces in here. So I'm going to use a couple of bits from that. And then I'm also going to use this Alice in Wonderland stamp that's from Intego Blue. And I'm going to use Alice. And I may use a couple of other bits as well. I'm also using, for my flowers, I have this die set. It's a cut and emboss and it's a floral, um, fresco floral carnation. And I'm going to cut that out. Okay. So, first of all, what I want to do is let's cut out our dies. Okay. Let me just actually zoom back out first, okay, to make sure that I've got you in shot. So I'm going to cut my dies out, all right, but I want to cut them out in the Signs of Love paper. So the actual paper that I'm going to use for the background of the card is this one, all right, so I'm going to use that. Now this is a six by six card, so six inches by six inches or 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres, okay. And let me just straighten that off. So I'm going to use that. And as you can see, these papers are slightly larger. So I'm going to use this one for my background. All right. And it's got the absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got the lace and the printing in the background. All their art papers are just hands down beautiful. Look at that. It's got the postal mark. Absolutely beautiful. So it's even got really faint in the back then i don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's got like the music sheet the more you look at these papers the more you see in them they're just beautiful so i'm going to use that one as my background so then i want something quite light to do my carnation so i think i'm going to go with this one okay to do my carnation so let's pop that to the side just now and bring it in my cutting plates so let me just I need to cut them out one at a time I think now this is a decoupage die so I think we might fit the two on at once maybe just about I think try yeah so I'm going to stick them down just so that they don't move like that and like that okay well, let's turn them over and pop them through so we'll put that through and I think I'm going to have it half of the card. I'm not going to cover up the whole background. So 
So let me just get this out. And we will take out our die cuts. Two of them have already popped out. So we've got those there. Now, these ones actually you can emboss, all right? But let me just check and see. I don't think, with the Gemini, they do come out quite embossed anyway. So you, sometimes I would pop them back through and emboss them, but this time I'm not going to bother because I think there's so much cutting detail on these dies anyway that we don't have to. Let me just have a wee look and see. Let me just grab a pokey tool. Yeah, so you'll see what I mean. There's lots of um, detail on them already. You see how it's got all the cut out detail. So I'm not going to bother popping them back through with the embossing just now. So let's pop that to the side. Okay, so we've got that one. And then we have got these bits here that do the 3D decoupage parts. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, let me see. Yeah, actually I'm going to leave that until last because I don't want to do it and then find out that it's in the wrong place. So let's do this first of all. So we'll just get our wee decoupage pieces. And I'm going to grab a pen. This one is called um, Old Olive. Okay. All right, so let's just zoom you in a wee bit. So I'm just going to go over the stalks and make them a different colour from the flowers. And I like this colour because it's like a vintage <coughs> old olive. It's lovely. It's really a nice vintage colour. Okay. And just keep going until it's all coloured in. And then <clears throat> we can add a wee bit of shade in with a darker green. This one is Mossy Meadow, it's called. And I'm just going to go in. And where the lines are actually cut into the dye gives you an idea where to put your shade in. So I'm just literally adding a wee bit of darker on those lines just to highlight it and make it look a bit shadowed. Okay. So you can see in this card that I've done before, I had added some shadow onto the flower, but we'll wait and see this time. So what I'm going to do then is just get some small foam pads and I'm going to decoupage up my flowers. Now I don't know if I'll use all the pieces, but we'll go with this big piece first of all. And we'll just add on some small foam pads. Okay, so I'm going to decoupage this up and I will come straight back. Okay, so instead of you having to sit and watch me putting on the pads and things, I have decoupaged up the flower. Okay, so you can see. So I thought like that kind of represented sort of Alice going through her big flower garden. All right, so what we'll do then is let's pop this to the side and let's stamp out Alice. So let's get her off of here and grab a stamping block. And we'll stamp her out in VersaFine Onyx Black.
And there you go, there she is. Just clean my stamp. Okay, now all I'm going to do with her, because she is mainly black and the paper's got some blue in it, okay, and then we've got some, I'm going to add like just a couple of wee bits of accents. I've got a really light blue here called Pool Party. Let's just check the colour. Yep, so I'm going to add in a wee bit of blue into her dress. Just to give that illusion of colour. Okay. And let's see which colour this is. Very light. I'm just going to give her some cheeks and I'm lightly going to put, I'm not colouring her whole arm, I'm just putting a wee bit of colour down her leg and her arm just to give that illusion of colour. All right. So let's fussy cut her out. Now I'm going to leave a slight white border around her, okay, just to give that wee bit of shadow and highlight. So nice, just a couple of millimetres around the edge. That's all that you need. And if you can, if you want to, I mean, you could go in right in, but for this card, I am going to give her a wee white outline. And there we go. So there she is. I think she looks really sweet. So then let's start building up our card first of all, okay? So I want to have Alice kind of standing under the flowers because in the movie and in the books, the flowers are a lot taller than Alice. So we're going to have that, okay? But what I want to do is tear down here. So let's tear down the edge and obviously we'll keep that back for another project. So let's tear down the edge. I am going to use one of my brushes and I'm just going to add on a little bit of Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Just a wee bit round the edge just to vintage it up a wee bit. Okay. Now, let's pop this onto our card. Okay. I'm just lining it up and then I'm going to open it up and take off the excess at the bottom. Okay, so I think that looks pretty cute. And then what I'm going to do is I have got a music stamp. So this stamp's just got some like music, it's like a sheet music. So I'm just going to grab and put a wee bit of this on. This is just to take this whiteness away. And again, I'm just going to use the Distress Oxide in the Vintage Photo. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to give like a wee hint to take that, you know, to take the space up. Like that. And then like that. 
at the bottom. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So let's pop that to the side. And then what I'm going to do is bring in my vintage photo around the edge. And there we go. So I think that looks nice. So that's going to go like that. We're going to have our flower up there. We're going to have Alice standing here. And then what I'm going to do is take one of the clocks, okay, from the Spring Blossoms add-on kit. And I'm also going to take a couple of the butterflies from the Signs of Love. Okay, so let's cut that out. Firstly, we will cut out. Now, the reason I'm cutting out one of the clocks is because in Alice in Wonderland, the white rabbit has a stopwatch. And although this is not a stopwatch, it has got that vintage look to it. And I just think this would look nice in the card for a wee bit of detail. Okay. So I'm going to pop that in behind the flowers, like that. Alright, I think that looks nice. And then let's cut out, we'll have one of the blue butterflies. I'm just thinking maybe one of the flags would look nice. Yeah. We'll cut out one of the flags as well. So that's the good thing about these paper packs, you get like a lot of accessories and a lot of toppers that you can add in and you know that it all matches. So let's go with this one, let's pop that here, we'll cut that out and we'll go with the blue butterfly. Now, I'm cutting off his antenna, but I will draw them back in on my card. I just find it easier than trying to cut out the tiny wee antennas. Or antennae, whatever you call them. Okay. So, we're getting there. Almost done. And let's just trim around here. And around here. Okay, so we've got one beautiful butterfly that's going to go on, and I need one more in the pink. pause this guys while I'm doing this but I think sometimes it's nice and relaxing just to craft along with someone so so we've got that there and I think we'll have one more cut out and it will be one of the pink flags So let's pop all that to the side because we don't need that just now and let's start assembling things so what i'm going to do is just add a wee bit of ink around the edge of things just to make it look like it's part of the paper okay and the same with alice right so let's start putting this together so I want to put let me just make sure that I am in shot okay I want to put the clock behind the flowers 
Let me just take that white edge off. And let me pop the clock in here. And then let's pop the florals down. Okay. Sorry if you can hear a dog barking. My neighbour's dog is barking all the time just now. Don't know what's wrong with it. Right, so let's just pop this down here. That looks so cute. Looks a bit like Wonderland. And then we will have Alice standing underneath the huge flowers. She will be standing there. And then we will have our banners or our flags. And we'll have one here, like that. And then I will have one. Here, down a bit, and then we'll have our butterflies. And we'll just put a wee bit of glue in the middle, like that, and then one. Actually, before I put that one, I'm going to put that one there, and then here, what I'm going to do is take another one of the stamps. Okay. And this one says curiouser and curiouser. So I'm going to take that. I am going to take a piece of the blue. And let's just stamp on here. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay, can you see? I've got curiouser and curiouser. And what I'm going to do is just tear it around the edge. that and then oops let me just grab this wee pen because I've slightly torn into the C and then I'm going to take the ink and go around the edge I'm going to pop this on a bit of foam the final thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of Wink of Stella and I'm just going to add a wee bit of glitter here and there on the butterflies. Just to make them stand out a wee bit. And that is my card. So let's zoom you in a wee bit. What do you guys think? My Alice in Wonderland card made with the beautiful papers from OERA. So if you haven't already guys, please hit this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe. I will be back on the 13th with another video and make sure you stay tuned for all the amazing talented designers that come on and make projects here on OER Art. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.